This patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 30 about six months ago. Patient complained of a dull ache that would come and go. We examined the tooth and of course you can see a periapical lucency here. There was a crown on the tooth. So we recommended of course endodontic treatment. And that was as I said six months ago. And here's the date, as you can see, approximately six months ago. So we went ahead, went through the crown and did the root canal. This tooth had a really weird anatomy, as you can see. Four canal systems, for the life of me, I could not get patency on the mesial canals. The mesial canals, I just could not get patency. The distals, I got patency. And just look at the anatomy, look at the anatomy of the, of the roots here. Look at that, look at that curvature there. I just could not get patency. And when a, the tooth is necrotic, you really want to get patency. So I was I was I was a little bit concerned, but not not that concerned. I I, I was glad that I was able to get patency on the distal canals because the periapical relucency associated with distal canals, no periapical relucency on the mesial canals, but yet when there is necrotic tissue, I like to get patency. I like to be able to go all the way to the end of the canals with patency so I can remove all the necrotic tissue and possible, possible microorganisms. But I could not, for the life of me, I could not. So I told the patient, I said, this is the best I can do for this tooth. The mesials, I, the front roots, I could not get patency. The back roots, uh, canals, I was able to. And here's the data, as you can see. That's when we did the root canal. And this was today. Six months post-op of tooth number 30. Patient says all her symptoms had gone away, went away. She had no issues, no problems, no symptoms. Look at that. Healed periapical relucency. There was a periapical relucency there. About six months ago, it's completely healed, gone. The mesial canals that we could not get patency, they're nice and clean. So... There you go, six months post-op of tooth number 30. And here is the date as you can see today, just now. Excellent, six months post-op of tooth number 30.